All right, so this is a piece of the workflow of the last animated reel that I made. If you want to hear the audio, I animated too. You just heard it, but if you want to hear it without the whole, you know, uh, pitch switch and uh, bleeping out the words, go check it out on my YouTube reels. So I'm just showing how I use Procreate and Procreate Dreams to do so. And hopefully this is helpful for anyone that is new to Procreate Dreams and just so happens to be a Procreate animator like me. At this point in time, I am using Procreate to complete the animations, and then I just drag and drop onto Procreate Dreams to do the final edits and touch up, you know, the touch ups of these animations because Procreate Dreams allows you to stack animations on top of each other, as I mentioned in the previous video. So this is done in real time. It's unedited, not sped up. It's just showing the exact process. And this is a screen recording of me doing it live. Yeah, so let me catch up with what's going on in the video. So right now it looks like I'm just rearranging the clips to make sure that they line up because I ended up doing, um, the hair color on a different layer just because I just wanted to get it done like I wanted to get the outline done so I kind of skipped that step because um, I know I could just follow it up later So I just split the clip. This is how I'm getting the timing down to match up with the timing of the gesture. So I'm making sure the hair matches up with the gesture that it aligns with. Pretty simple work here. A lot of dragging, dropping, splitting, deleting, and just repeating that process. And it just goes to show that um, the pipeline from Procreate to Procreate Dreams is, it could be better. I'll be honest, it could be better, but it works as long as you kinda, you know, know what you're doing. And I've used it enough in this short amount of time that it's been out to get a good enough feel for it to make it do what it do in my favor, but it could be better. I will say that, it could be better. And I'm looking forward to an update soon hopefully but yeah I'm still appreciative of uh, the point that is that I'm not gonna lie so yeah it's a lot of repetition here but I still feel like it may be beneficial to just kind of see the process of how I get stuff done this is how I get it done Right now, this is the best way. You feel me? A lot of um, dragging, dropping, duplicating. Yeah, it works out. The thing about animating, if you animate, you already know this, it is time consuming. So it's just taking the time out to do what needs to be done. Once you know what to do, you just take the time out to do what needs to be done. So that's what's happening here. This was fun to do as, as well because I did it in like a day. And then I did uh, the cleanup another day so i just wanted to do a quick animation just to put some fun content out there before i picked up a new commission because i knew that my time was going to be spent 
working on someone else's project. So I needed to, you know, have some fun on my own before then. And this is what I decided to do. Yeah. I also, I'm working on episode three of Inside the Mind, my little animated series. And those that's one of the things where I can't really take a break in between. I kind of just have to flow. So I had to completely stop that and do some fun work. Even, even though that's fun too. But I had to completely stop that and do some other work so that I'm able to. So I wouldn't stop that process. I, when I work on animations, I like to flow, like consistently work on it with nothing kind of uh, interrupting the flow of me working on that animation. Yeah, so. But I'm looking forward to it once I eventually get it done. Once I pick it back up. So yeah, still repeating the steps. To knock out how I want it to look. I'm going to have to do a video of me actually doing an animating. Which I do in Procreate. It's just the thing is when I do my animating in Procreate. I'm just like. I'm so in the zone that I don't even think. Let me screen record this process. Because this is good content. But then I do something like this. Which is so mundane if that's the right word. And it's like let me get something out of it I guess. Yeah. So yeah, this is the workflow. It's pretty boring now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> but I love how this turned out. And it did some pretty decent numbers in my opinion. So I'm glad I did it. I did this to a song that was kind of going up on TikTok at the time of me doing it. So, and I kept seeing it. So I'm like, you know what? Let me see if I can do a little, a little thing to that. And this is my thing to that. So that's pretty much it. It's really not much to it, but um. I feel like I got this Procreate Dreams thing down packed. So if you have any questions about Procreate Dreams that may have you on a stump, let me know and maybe I can help. And if you got any suggestions for what you would like to see, let me know and maybe I can do that as well. Anyways, that's it. This is wrapping up. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this. And thanks for watching.